hello and welcome to the next video of our advanced character locomotion series and in this one we'll fix the we'll fix this orientation warping issue as you can notice when we start in particular direction our body just completely rotates uh, instantly which is not right we want enable orientation warping when we are uh, properly starts into a particular direction or when we are in cycle state We'll fix this issue and also we're gonna fix the distance matching issue for example when we release the input key the character is in a, a stopping state and when we give another input the distance uh, changes to the particular stop location so that's why our our character just goes to another animation frame so you can notice when I give another input while stopping the character goes to another animation sequence animation frame sorry and you can notice the clear jerk when we give another input we'll also fix this issue so let's get started guys so in order to fix the orientation warping issue I'm gonna open my animation blueprint so if I disable the orientation warping completely, you can notice my character just starts properly towards particular direction. So we need to enable the orientation warping when we properly start the animation. So in order to do that, I'm gonna open my animation. So here are my idle to run animation for example if i disable my root lock so when we reaches at this point let's say point 0.8 second we are completely orient towards the desired input direction so at this point we need to enable the orientation warping so in order to do that I'm gonna add a new curve so we just need to change the alpha of our orientation warping based on the animation curve when the animation curve value is 1 we'll set the orientation warping to true and if the value is less and then the alpha changes based on the input curve so I'm gonna add a new curve enable so uh, let's just create a new curve so in order to create a curve what I'm gonna do go to skeleton and here we have all the curves if I search for orient curve we don't have any curve so I'm gonna create a new curve I'm gonna call this enable orientation warping so here we have the curve right now if I add curve here in animation sequence you can notice we'll have the or enable orientation warping curve I'm gonna open the curve so at point eight second I'm gonna add a key and set the value to 1 so we don't want a instant instant change of the animation curve so in order to achieve the smooth interpolation I'm gonna add a new curve I add sorry add a new key at 0.5 second and set the value to 0 so as you can notice when we reach at 0.5 we're gonna change the uh, alpha towards 1 and when we reach at the 0.8 second our alpha completely 1 I'm gonna change the interpolation to cubic interpolation so that we'll have a smooth interpolation values. So here we have the enable orientation warping curve. I'm gonna enable root motion. Now I'm gonna copy the curve and apply it to all my idle to jog animations.
and we also need to apply it on our walk starts i'm gonna apply the same curve to all my start animations there we go so we have now successfully applied uh, the orientation warping curve to all our start animations now we need to open the orientation warping and node and inside the alpha input type we're gonna change this to animation curve value and now we need to just put the enable uh, orientation warping we need to put the curve name over here and based on the based on this curve we're gonna change the alpha of our orientation warping so now if i'm gonna hit play and test you can notice our orientation warping is enabled and there is not any instant change, instant change of rotation and you can notice when we are in cycle state our curve value is zero so we don't need to put any curve on our cycle state we're gonna just open the cycle state machine and we're gonna add modified curve so when we are in cycle state we're gonna enable orientation warping all the time we don't need to put any extra effort to putting the curve on all the cycle animations so now we have the orientation warping is completely set up to all our start animation and our cycle now we need to fix another issue which is a distance matching issue so it is a generic issue when we release the input key and while character is stopping if we give another input the character just changes the distance and the animation frame changes and you can see the clear pop see a clear visible pop when we give a small input so which is not right and we need to fix it so in order to fix this out what i'm gonna do so here we have the locomotion idle state machine here we have the distance matching for run stop and walk stop so first i'm gonna open the run stop i'm gonna open the distance matching upgrade function so in order to fix this issue we don't need to uh, calculate the distance distance variable inside our distance matching function we need to calculate this function somewhere else so for this what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just remove this functionality from here remove the calculation functionality and what i'm gonna do get the distance to match and just uh, put the distance variable over here so we'll calculate the distance variable in our thread save function so here do have, uh, the distance matching will remain same we just need to change our calculation method if a uh, distance variable is equal to zero then we just simply advance our time if it is not equal to zero with perform the distance matching so distance matching function will remain same now and i'm gonna open my thread save function what i'm gonna do will have the locomotion state variable already available so if our state is equal to idle so we are already in our previous uh, tutorials we have calculated the locomotion state here we have calculating our locomotion state based on different speed either we are in run walk or idle state so if we are in idle state then i'm gonna put a branch over here if we are in idle state then we'll gonna calculate distance to match and we have the get predictive stop distance function 
there we go so if we are in idle state we'll calculate distress match if we are not in idle state for example while stopping we are in idle state we are calculating distress matching and if we give another small input we just changes the idle we are changing the locomotion state which is equal to either walking or running so if that happens we'll just set the distress match to uh, distress match variable to zero so that we don't have app any visible uh, jerk happens when a small input changes while in distress matching stop so we just need to uh, calculate the distance match variable differently and now if i play you can notice when i when play when i'm giving even if i'm uh, given give another input the character just smoothly play this uh, stop animation and perform turn in place which is really cool and we don't have any visible jerk even when we are in walk stop or run stop So that's it for this video guys. I hope you like this video. So and in the in I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.